Hi, how are you doing? So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to recreate light trails in Photoshop. It's a relatively simple process and it's really good fun. So let me walk you through each step. So the first thing we want to do is come up to File and select New. And we'll want to create a, a custom page. So this can be pretty much any size that you want. Um, 847 by 703 is what I've got. Click Create. Select the Brush tool and make sure that the color is set to black. So you can click on there, select OK. Make sure the flow is at 100% and opacity. Come to the actual brush at the top there and just select the hardness to around 60%. Then what we're going to do is we're going to click four times. So one there, two, three, and four. Now from here, we want to come up to Edit and then select Define Brush Preset. And we can call this uh, Light Trails Brush. Press OK. So now we've created that brush. That's going to enable us to create the actual light trail lines that are coming across our image. So what we want to do is come to our Layers panel and come down to the bottom, click there, create a new layer. Now I'm going to use a bracket keys to make this brush a little bit smaller, so it's quite small. Okay. And I'm going to click on the color and I'm going to select a red. Press OK, and I'm just going to see what them lines will look like. Yet, so that that will look okay. So I'm just going to press Command Z just to go back. Right. So now we've created that brush and we've got the color that we want. We want to select the pen tool. So you can just press P on your keyboard for the pen tool. And all you want to do is click from the outside of the image and then come over to the other side and click, and then press Escape, and then do the same again. So click and click and then press escape. Now we want to right click on that path and select stroke path and then make sure that this is selected to brush and make sure this is unchecked as well and just press OK. And that's going to give you your lines. So you can then press the escape key to get rid of the, the lines that the pen tool has created. So now we've got our red lines running through. If we come up to the, our layer at the top here, double click, this is going to give us a few different options. So what I'm going to do is select uh, outer glow and I'm going to make sure that the color is red. So I'm going to bring it up to here, press OK. And we can then play with this and get different effects. So we've got the opacity there of the glow. We've also got the spread and also we can change the contour of it as well. So we can change the way that this actually looks. So I'm going to select this one for now because that's quite nice. And we can increase and decrease this range as well. And there we go. I think that looks pretty good. So let's press OK to that. So that's our first light trail. Now what I want to do is I want to recreate this again but I want it to be a little bit softer. So all I'm going to do is up here is press Control Command J and that's going to duplicate everything and then I'm going to bring the opacity down. So select the opacity, just bring it down. There we go. Now if I press Control or Command T, that is going to transform and now I can move this around and you can see there's the, the line there that we just created. So what I'm going to do is just bring that further down a little bit and then I'm going to right click and select warp and this is going to enable me just to warp that light trail so it looks a little bit more distorted there we go because you don't get perfect light trails usually so you can see there that's kind of running off over that way now let's come back to the first original layer and just come to the opacity and just bring that down a little bit there we go so i think the lines on there are a little bit too big so what we can do is we can come back and we can actually blur that a little bit. So let's double click on the layer and let's add a inner glow as well. It's okay. And then come up to filter and then come to blur and then select Gaussian blur. So we can now just blur these lines a little bit more. So we still want some lines in there, but not as heavy as they were. There we go. That's much, much better now. So now we're happy with that. 
let's just make sure we're on the top layer come down to the bottom and click on the create new layer at the top and this time we're going to create the white so click on the color select the white there and let's just come to our brush tool and this time we're going to make these a little bit smaller so i'm just going to zoom in and just show you yeah i'm going to make them quite small so they're around there that's better i think that will give us a better final finish so let's press p for the pen tool and let's just click on there press escape click again press escape and then right click and select stroke path make sure it says brush press ok there's our lines again press escape to get rid of the uh, the pen tool line the path and then let's double click on the layer up here go to outer glow and make sure that the color is set to white and we can change that opacity and what usually happens with the white lights is that they really do pump out don't they they're really sort of overexposed so you can you can do them like that but i do prefer them with a little bit of lines running through them we can blur that as well remember uh, and the spread will just spread that that whole uh, uh, white light there so again experiment and play and with the size i think around there looks pretty good and yeah about there so let's press ok to that so again let's duplicate this so just press Control command j to duplicate them and then we can come up to the top here and select the move tool and again we can move that white light there so let's just drag it down to the bottom bring the opacity down and then press Control command t and then right click and again select warp and then we can just walk this into a weird shape just to make it look a little bit more realistic I'm just pushing that putting that in that's it press return and there we go that's looking pretty good I think what I would do is come back to the this layer the first original layer here and I want to walk that a little bit so I'm gonna click on the layer one press control or command T to transform right click select warp let's just go in a little bit closer and let's just let's just distort this make it a little bit of a different shape there we go that looks good okay now we've done that and we're we're happy what i would do is click on the top layer again and now i would come down to the bottom and select a curves adjustment and I'll come to the red channel and just increase that so that goes a little bit higher there and then once we've done that we can press Control or command I to invert that and then press B for our brush tool make sure the foreground color is set to white and I'm going to need a normal brush for this so I'm just going to come back up to the top with a soft brown brush and what this is going to do is enable us just to paint in some of that red light at the at the bottom here because this would glow up from the reflection so I just want to add that in uh, we could add it into around here as well so it just makes this look a little bit more realistic and of course you can just paint over it a little bit and then come to the opacity and just bring that down a little bit and there we go so once you're happy with that you can then select layer and then you can flatten image that will then flatten everything or you can just save it with the layers however you want to do it so i hope you've enjoyed that have a play yourself and see how you get on i look forward to seeing your images take care bye bye